Hey guys, it is Tanya Gibson Smith. Welcome and welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about three different ways to succeed as CFI. If that is your jam, if you're at CFI or if you're thinking about coming to CFI and you want to know what are some major ways that I can succeed as a female trucker, as a trucker in general, or even as a team truck, I've got the answers for you. Stay tuned. To succeed as a truck driver at CFI number one get ready okay number one and this is just really my personal preference this is from being on a truck with my finisher being on a truck with my husband seeing how freight is watching and paying attention to how everything is moving out here my personal opinion okay this is not in stone this is Tanya Gibson Smith so once again number one the first way to succeed is a trucker at CFI. Be willing to drive at night, okay? Be willing to drive at night. Some people already have their mindset, or even if you love driving at night, then be willing to drive in the day. Or some people already have their mindset to, I only drive at night, or I only drive in the mornings. And you're missing loads and you're missing freight because some loads have to be delivered at night and then some have to be delivered in the morning. You might have to drive through the night in order to make that drop in the morning on time. Or you may have to drive through the morning to be able to make that drop 8 p.m. at night. So uh, either way it goes, be versatile. Be willing to drive at night or if you're a night driver, be willing to drive in the day. Okay, number two, number two. The second thing is be willing to drive in the mountains. Listen, the only thing you have to do is pray, trust God, and drive this truck. That's the only thing you have to do. Give it to him, okay? Mountains can be intimidating, and I know that. Uh, mountains are intimidated on the east, but they are more so intimidated on the west. So the Appalachian Mountains are not nearly as bad or huge or any of that compared to the Rocky Mountains on the West. And, um, you know, going through some places, Colorado, going through, you know, um, Moab and Utah and, and, you know, a couple of these places, California even, there are mountains that are amazingly huge and if you are one driver who is saying I don't drive in the mountains I'm not driving on the west at all or you can't send me to the west at all then you're gonna be missing out on freight you're gonna be sitting and uh, your truck is not gonna be moving as much so those are two keys already be willing to drive at night or in the day vice versa and then be willing to drive in the mountains, okay? Be willing to drive on the west. I've spoken to some drivers who say, I don't go to California at all. Well, my husband and I have gone to California already twice with CFI. So, um, you know, I'm not here to talk about numbers, but I am here to uh, give you these keys to success. If you want to succeed and you want to uh, be able to get miles with this company, then you're gonna have to say yes. And that brings us to number three, okay? Our third reason, or our third way to succeed at CFI. And that is, say yes. Listen, you do not, well, you do have the right to turn down freight, you do. But if you wanna get these miles, and you wanna see a comma on your check, <laughs> 
you need to say yes. Say yes. Take the load. Grab the load. Take the load. Don't reject it. Even though the little button comes up and it says reject or accept. You have the option, right? But if you want to get miles and if you want to get paid and if you want to run freight, then you need to hit accept. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just our motto here. My husband and I, Gibson Smith Motor Team, we are driving at night. We are driving in the day. We are driving on the west. We are driving on the east. We are saying yes to every load that comes to us. And this is a bonus, guys. I hadn't even thought of this um, yet or to bring it across to you all. But it is important to develop a relationship with your driver manager. Your fleet manager is the one who you have to be able to communicate with and have to be able to have an understanding with in order to get your loans and be sent home on time and you know do your 34s and all of the different things that you know a truck driver expects or wants or desires it all comes through your dm so that's just a little golden nugget at the end of this video have a good relationship with your driver manager okay they're the ones who is really in um well i won't say in control of your check but pretty much <laughs> pretty much they're, they're, they're the ones that sending you the loads and um you know everybody's happy at the end of the day when you run in the frame so god bless this is the end of this video and uh see you in the next one <laughs>